as you know, sustainability is a word that we adopted not so a long time ago. It is the future, although we call it future, but it is now. Sustainability in Dubai is a very important issue. Actually, if you go in every single institution and governmental authorities, you will find this is an important topic that's used both in thinking and projects. So this is a very ambitious city that you can learn from. Personally, I am from the Canadian University of Dubai. In March this year, we arranged a very important a national workshop about sustainability. And we are actually surprised, although it was an academic arrangement, but the authority itself, they became so interested in it. The whole media in the country, they covered that. So that is only an experience that I'm bringing to you to tell you sustainability is a very important issue in Dubai, which is actually the definition of the future city. Sustainability is normally broken into three categories, economic sustainability, environmental sustainability, and social sustainability. Uh, and town planning has uh, impacts on all three areas. Obviously environmental mostly, because it's about building the built environment or protecting part of the natural environment. Why lighting? Why lighting is important? Lighting represents 19% of the global electricity consumption. Lighting accounts for a couple of billions emission of CO2 every year. If I transfer that uh, into uh, a, a probably an easier way to understand, it's equivalent to 70% of the emission produced by cars in the world. So now we understand that uh, in terms of sustainability, we as an industry, of course, but I would say we entirely as a community, we have a common responsibility to reduce as much as we can the emission of CO2. Now, the good news, and I think it's important, that within the latest technology, we can do that. If we look at uh, urbanization, uh, we understand that in terms of infrastructure, we need to invest. And today, with uh, intelligent lighting, we can help to manage lighting in a sustainable manner. We introduce LED and controls, so we know that we can reduce the energy up to 80%. And I think uh, one of the points that is to create a further more awareness to the cities. 30-40% uh, of the energy consumption in the city is linked to lighting. And if we can reduce that up to 80%, I think the answer is pretty clear. Nowadays, the technology is uh, available, is affordable, and can uh, definitely transform our cities in a sustainable manner. Many institutions are uh, talking about sustainability, but uh, what truly are we doing to answer to this uh, subject? And I gave the example of Dubai Municipality. A, a week ago, we signed an MOU with them to uh, reshape uh, uh, and to support them to transform the buildings that belong to Dubai Municipality into LED. Most of you would agree that the boom that this emirate has witnessed in the last 15 years is definitely unprecedented. Uh, it's very unique in the way they managed uh, their infrastructure project. It's very unique uh, in the way uh, how uh, it was financed and how it came to fruition as you see it today. But then one would have to stop and say, well, what do I need to do to continue the same route and the same path? And that's the reason that the Dubai Supreme Council of Energy was really set up.
Dubai has actually launched the integrated energy strategy about two and a half years ago, which focuses on bringing a governance role uh, for the Emirate, where you can integrate the supply, the demand, and the regulatory framework under one platform. Since then, which is back in 2011, we were able to come up with a very structured approach on how we manage sustainability and security of energy. Uh, to do that, we also looked at the demand side, which means we looked at how we can become more efficient in running our power plants and running uh, operations. We moved into cost reflective uh, tariffs for our utilities. We also brought in the element of green uh, buildings. We brought also a number of programs that relates to retrofitting some existing buildings. We've also developed a roadmap that looks at uh, alternative source of fuel, such as bringing solar and clean coal in addition to our gas, which is the dominant uh, fuel in power generation. If you compare Dubai with the other countries, especially if you compare it with Singapore and Hong Kong, you will find the current share for the public transport in Dubai is almost 12, and our target is 20% at 2020. So we current 20%. One of our goal is sustainability, and with sustainability always is talking about environmental. So there is a lot of project in the RTA to keep the environment clean, green. Sustainability is about also keeping our uh, heritage and culture and uh, to make people aware that we are human beings and we should take care of the city because it's our place to live and to grow for us and for future generations. It has to be a place where humans are developed and uh, closer to the nature. It should be a place where you can combine and you can be part of the ecosystem. Dubai has done well in creating a balance between building the city and still preserving the environmental quality for the next generation. <laughs> <laughs>